Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Bill from Tested. And Punish Props. Of course, Bill's here shooting some videos with us this week. And we thought it'd be fun to experiment with our laser cutter. Yeah, every chance I get to play with this giant laser, I'm going to take it. And we thought we'd have a fun way to spruce up uh, something that was lying around the shop. Yeah, yeah. So we have this tape, this really wide tape that Sean got for us. And we typically use this tape to help cover material so you don't you know, scorch the material. Right. Um, but you saw this and you thought we could use this for stencils. Correct. We could use that stencil to, I think, put a really cool pattern down the middle of this helmet. Ah, is this something you've done before with your laser at home? I, let me think, I've done, uh, I've made stencils uh, that are more rigid. Uh, I have a vinyl cutter mm. that I usually use to make stencils. Right, right. Um, but if you have a laser, Yes. And uh, you have some of this masking tape, then you can do the same thing. Now, if you don't have masking tape this wide, this is specialty tape right here, uh, can you use like strips of wide two inch masking tape? Yeah, just the normal blue painter tape will mm -hmm. work just fine. I will say vinyl that mm -hmm. you would put in a vinyl cutter should not be used on a laser cutter. Ah, uh, toxic. toxic. Yes, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is just fine. And you've designed a stencil already with Illustrator, just a vector. Very quick. And our idea is that we want to have a stencil that's going to go along the top of this helmet. Uh, one of the reasons, not only because there's already a white stripe here, is because this is a, a complex curve. Mm -hmm. And if we had done it diagonally or just some If it was around, a big wide one, yeah. Yeah, then the stencil maybe could fold on itself Correct. and you would lose that detail. So this is just a simple little uh, stencil to add a little bit of flair to this helmet. And I have no idea how it's going to turn out, especially... Neither do I. <laughs> right, so let's get to putting this tape on the laser cutter. You think we need any backing to it? No, let's just try and tape it right down to the surface and run the machine, see how it works. All right, experimentation. Here we go. Hey, cool. Ooh. Well, that went quick, like this? five minutes maybe? Yeah, and this held really well. It did. You know what, before we peel it off, why don't we trim it so we just have that thin strip. Mm -hmm. Test peel. Get rid of that. We could have made another stencil. We could have, oh, so wasteful. Oh, that's for, that's really satisfying. Look at that! Can you pick those off the back? There's some little guy bonk, over there. Bonk, And there we go. Wow. Let's put it on our helmet. All right. I designed this to be a little bit wider, so we have we have some playing room. In fact, we can do that. Oh, that's sweet, Bill. And we'll try and tack it down in the middle and kind of fold it over. Got to be real gentle. Yeah, let's with it, let's right? work together on this. We're just trying to get it to lie down pretty flat. And it won't perfectly because it is a curved surface or a complex curve. We'll get it as close as possible. I'm trying to keep these hexes as it's perfectly hexy. hex as possible. It's not going to be perfect, but it will look really cool. And then I'm just gonna push over everything, make sure we don't have any gaps. I think we're pretty good. So that's important when you're making a mask. Yeah. Right. It's gonna make sure paint's not gonna seep through anything. And I think we're set. Now the fun part. Let's choose a color. Ooh. Ooh. Bam. Boom. That's the one. That's neon orange. Looks pretty good. Bright orange. All right, here we go. It's 
It's actually kind of cool that it doesn't cover the text all the way. Cool. Think it's dry yet, Bill? Uh, it's dry enough. Uh, I wouldn't touch any of the paint parts, but we okay. can peel off the masking. Let's do it. So I'll do the I'll do the the outer part, and you can do the the uh, the exciting part. So we're just taking off the uh, paper towel here, and then I think start maybe right from the back and peel it peel it away. Oh, moment of truth. And and uh, as a tip, don't pull away from the surface. Pull like with the surface and I'll hold the helmet down. There you go. Oh, getting a little bit of spillover. A little bit of bleed. The, uh, the masking tape did not lay down as flat as uh, we would like, but it still looks really cool. Boop. <laughs> There it is. Not bad for a quick and dirty uh, paint job. That took us yeah. like five minutes. <laughs> totally. I think it looks great. Wow. Yeah. Don't do it to your car, right. maybe. But for a helmet or any prop you have lying around, you can add a pattern to it. Yeah. And a quick tip, too, to prevent some of that bleed, we could have sprayed it with a clear paint first. Ah. That clear paint would have gone under and clogged everything and then do the color. And hopefully that would not have bled under as much. Oh, so very cool. Our, it's our a striking color, now tested orange. Awesome. A little simple laser cutter project. Experiment here at offices using our universal systems laser cutter. Thanks a lot, Bill. You're welcome, Norm. See you guys next time.